just a quick update really on the channel or just to let you know that I've not abandoned you um, at the minute or for the last couple of months two or three months of work has gone absolutely insane I live in a relatively small island community I'm a joiner carpenter and sort of after the whole Covid thing as things have started to get back to normal I'm having to put in six days a week just to keep up and I'm still turning down work at that which from a work and income point of view perfect <laughs> from a leisure point of view not so good I don't know if you can see this he might be just off screen but he's digging himself a hole and spitting soil and all kinds of debris right past you so if you see bits flying past the camera not me <laughs> um, But yeah, I mean I've, well as I say, I'm putting in five, six days a week, so come Sundays I'm just absolutely trashed, all I want to do is open a cold beer and sit down in front of Rerun to last in the summer away. Today I have made an effort because we've got decent weather and I brought the bow out, but what I didn't bring out is a tripod so I can't even film any shooting, um, which is probably just as well because my aim as a result of zero practice is But anyway, I just wanted to say basically stick with the channel. I haven't disappeared um, and things will settle down once I get past this sort of mad spell. I do have plenty of stuff in the pipeline or plenty of stuff in the planning, not least of which will be a sort of multi-episode video of me building a shelter down on the coastline with nice sea views. So when I want to go out on overnighters and take the bow with me, I'm not having to look around the tent and all the camping gear. Um, so that'll, that'll be a decent series of videos, if that's something that interests you. And I've got plenty of locations I want to get out and stump shoot, or all kinds of plans. the benefit of the camera and I don't know if you'll see this very well but that right there is a deer tick and I hope that's in shot these things are horrible they're indestructible and there are in millions and what they do is latch onto the ducks or anything else primarily deer but usually the dogs and often be uh, attach themselves fill up with blood and drop off again and never work with children and pets or children and animals so yeah that's a deer tick horrible little things bonus shot <laughs> I've got you precariously perched on what's left of a tree uh, so you may fall off and about 100, 120 yards down the hill, I've got a balloon, which I don't know if you can see it. I've got six arrows and I'm shooting like... See how many times I can miss it. See if I can hit it. If I can hit this, I'll be well impressed with myself after not shooting for such a long while. Could end up with six lost arrows here. It's about a foot and a half off. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> ah, pant.
Well, we're in the tree, but we're about six inch away from the balloon. Not what the doctor ordered. Shot three. This is not going well, is it? <laughs> uh, Missed the tree again by about a foot. Shot four. If I ate balloon, I'd be going hungry. <laughs> that was about an inch off. Bagger. Down to the last two shots. It's crunch time. Am I zeroed in? Doubt it. Shot five. <coughs> it's a tree again, but only by an inch or two. Now, we're in the ballpark, but we're not getting the job done. Anyway, last arrow. If this doesn't go in, I'm cutting this out, maybe. I may leave it in just for a giggle. Free my defence, it is a blooming good distance. An inch or so above. I'll take you down and let you have a look. So there you have it. Not as close as I thought they were. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you what, let's have a look for these arrows. They're in here somewhere. Four of them. Um, <laughs> I think these might be gone. What I should do is start... Oh, look at this. <laughs> Although they all miss, that's not bad grouping. That just leaves us one, one down. What I should do... Is take the knockout, shove a bit of dog food down the back of all these chefs. So at least when I miss the target, the dogs can sniff them out. Three. Uh. We have two red in the tree. Ah. Oh, there we go. The other did hit the tree, but it bounced off. It's down there. So, bounced off at 45 degrees. So, we still have a full complement of arrows. Bonus! Ah, oh, dear. I'm not carrying a balloon home. Look a right idiot. <laughs> so I'm gonna try again. We'll move it into what? 60 yards. See if I can miss it six times again. If I do, I'm gonna jump on the balloon and go home. <laughs> Two attempts, still poor, and one highly likely lost arrow. Let's go and have a look. Shout if you see it. That could be absolutely anywhere. So I'm writing that one off. 
We'll turn up next winter when all this dies back. Consumables, right? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the bonus shots. Prop from all kinds of precarious positions and the uh, wobbly footage. Um, nah, that's gone. Toast. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. And as I say, stick with it. Uh, I will get lots more content out. Just not right now. Go and pick this balloon up and head home. Open a beer and watch some DVDs. That's what some days are for. Back to the grind tomorrow. Have an amazing week. See you next time, guys. Take care.